Hello everyone, this is Pat from PSA Custom Creations, and in this video, instead of my usual short ones about bells or different kinds of tools and things that I make, I'm going to talk about why I will probably not be using United Parcel Service or UPS in the future. So yesterday afternoon, I was outside of the shop, which you can see back behind me here, and I had the roll-up doors closed, but I had the, open, the uh, man door open. Donner, as you see here, my lovely assistant, was sitting here tied up just the way he is. I've got a side door over here to my house, and I have a front door over here. I was in there grinding, so I had some earplugs on, eye protection on, and I'm grinding, making some noise. I stopped grinding for a little bit, and I hear Donner barking, going, going crazy. So I put the stuff down, come outside, and my wife's got the dog holding him back. The UPS truck is driving around right here in my driveway and won't stop or didn't stop. So I have to go over here and figure out what's going on. So the UPS guy is trying to make a delivery. I grab Donner, put him inside of the house, inside my side door over here, close the door. The UPS guy continues to move, opens up the side door of his truck and tells me, here, here's some packages. I had ordered a bunch of packages. He gave me four packages, pointed one on the floor, said, hey, this is your fifth one as well. Kind of expects me to pick it up or almost kicks it to me. Well, he takes off and driving. My wife's telling me at this time that the UPS guy almost drove over Donna. Come here. Come here. Come here. So on his leash, as you can see, he can come across the road here. Well, if you're a UPS delivery person or any other delivery person, and you see a dog coming up here, stop the truck. You can go over here to my front door. I'm going to come up, or I'm going to get uh, in my car and actually show you what it would look like and how it would have been so simple and easy to prevent what happened yesterday because they almost ran over the dog. It really pissed me off. This is the second time now UPS has done this. So because of the way that they, they've treated him and almost run him over twice now, because they don't stop, I have a 700 foot, 750 foot long driveway. They could have easily stopped the truck right where the camera's sitting, walked over to my front door and delivered the package if the dog's outside. If the dog's not outside, do whatever you want. You can come in the driveway and turn around. Even if the dog's tied up over at my front door, which I have a rope over and string over, you can come over and deliver it to this door. Instead, they made it a point to continue to drive. Donner's leash was actually wrapped up in the guy's wheel well. My wife had to have the truck back up. Back up the truck so that she could get the leash out from underneath the truck. That's how much he was driving over top of, or almost driving over top of the dog. Me, unfortunately, like I said, I was sitting inside, so I didn't hear this until it was too late. Uh, but the first time it happened, I had to run out and physically run in front of the UPS truck in order to get them to stop moving. Otherwise, they were going to run him over. They just didn't care. This is the second time now with a different driver each time. So when you get something like that, for all the pet owners or other business owners, I ship about 100 packages a year. With the way that they're acting, and I had contacted them yesterday on Facebook, they didn't respond, or the, the corporate office responded, said I would get contacted by a local office yesterday afternoon or yesterday evening. They didn't do it. So I'm still waiting today to see what's going to happen. Let me go ahead and get my truck, or my car, to show you what it would be like and how simple it would have been to prevent what happened yesterday. Alright, so I'm sitting here, going to pretend I'm a UPS driver. As I mentioned, I have a long driveway. So as I'm coming up to this driveway, I'm thinking this guy lives kind of far back. There it is, maybe in the future, or there up in front of me, I can see the car, I can see the houses. That's probably where I'm going to be delivering the package. Now before anybody gets upset and says I don't understand what it's like to be a driver, I must point out that I have a commercial driver's license, I'm licensed and trained on how to drive tractor trailers to include air brakes, so I do understand what it's like driving a bigger truck. This is a UPS delivery van. Well, as I'm coming up to this house, I can see, hmm, what's this? It's a house. I have a front door over here, and I also seem to have a dog. Well, the dog starts barking. That's what they do. Well, if I'm sitting here as a UPS truck and the dog starts doing this to me, what am I going to do? If it was up to me, I could stop right here, walk right over to the front door, deliver the package. Dog's right there. Now remember, I was in the shop yesterday, so I couldn't hear and see anything because I was inside of my shop right over there. But I do have a dog sitting here that's barking. As a UPS driver, I may not know whether this dog's going to attack me or not. I understand it and I respect that, but I've got a front door sitting right there. Let's see what happens. 
I can walk out of my vehicle, grab the packages, whatever I have. Dog's still tied up. Dog may not know who I am in this instance, of course, he knows it's me. But if I have my packages, I can walk over to my front door, deliver the packages right there. Dog still can't touch me. He's barking. That's what dogs do when they when strange people show up. Instead, the UPS driver decided to keep driving right over here, turn around. Dog's, of course, trying to go crazy because he doesn't know who this vehicle is and what they're doing. But the UPS driver yesterday elected to drive over top of the dog's leash. Sit down. No, no, just wait. Sorry. So. He'd like to turn around in the driveway right here, continue to move while the dog's leash is wrapped up in his wheel well until my wife had to come over. She fortunately was inside the house and heard it. If she wasn't home at the time, I could have easily have ended up with a dead dog. Me and the shop may not have even known what was going on unless I heard something else from him. So this was completely, for me, this is what I consider to be completely unacceptable behavior on UPS's behalf. Again, they could have stopped near the house, walk over to the front door. If the dog's tied up to the front door, which he frequently is, he can walk over to the side door. They did not at any point have to put the dog in danger, or they did not at any point have to put themselves in danger. So, UPS, you really dropped the ball. I contacted the UPS corporate office yesterday on Facebook. They said, let them give them the email with the details, and I did. And they said I was supposed to be contacted by a uh, person from the local office. They haven't done it yet. We'll see what happens. But with behavior like this for the second time and running the risk of running over him and hurting him, right? I understand he's cute. That's my little buddy. But he still doesn't deserve, no pet, no pet owner deserves having the UPS come over and run over their animal. Especially if it's completely preventable like this situation where they could have delivered the package right to the front door.